Well, you'd have to go back and watch one of my older videos. Uh, it's the 1950s school, and I picked up, uh, one time I came here hunting, and my buddy Deep Silver Dave had found numerous silvers here. I think he found them mostly over here by these trees, but I was, right around here is a really trashy area, and in my old video I talked about this little smokestack right there that, uh, I think there might have been a house or something. But anyways, I found a rose over there. Proceeded to hunt, and then I think I found some weeds. Came back, I think, hunted around this tree. I picked up two mercs. They're really funky tones, like in here. And then right there, I found some, uh, a whole bunch of wheat pennies, like right there. And I, pres I just assumed that there may have been a tree fort in this a uh, tree at one time and people might have climbed in here and lost money but anyways I'd come back many times in the past and I've gridded off this whole area and pulled numerous wheats but no more silver so today I mean I, I, I've walked this field today I've only managed to pull one silver out by this tree right here um, but this whole field here is like crap I mean, I'm sure there's silver out there, but it is slow going. And I come right back to this place, same place where I've always found wheat pennies and silver. I've gridded this whole area off. I've, I've gridded all the way this this whole area up to that tree right there. All of this, and I've kind of meandered in over there. Never really found much over there, but... I got this high tone right here. And I'm really curious. Um... In my old videos, the Mercs, they, you can, if you go back and watch my old videos, it's, it's, um, you know, it's two Mercs, and they did not sound right. Everything was weird about the, the tones here. And, um, I think I even mentioned in the video that something might have been, there might have been a fire here, but I noticed there was a lot of trash around this tree. Now I just dug a bolt not too far back. I cannot believe it. Not believe it. I've been over and around this tree so many times, and there it is. You know the weird thing was is I'm hunting in manual. I got manual 28, 27, and I know that in trash areas, you know, you should drop your sensitivity down. Um, and it's really weird because I hit this high tone, and I kind of go right over the top of it, and it wouldn't really go anywhere. So I had to raise my coil up a little bit. And I kind of went like this, kind of did a little hover, and you could hear this like little high tone in there. And the lower I went, the worse the signal degraded. But I lifted it up a little bit higher, and so I've hunted this area in different different modes. I've hunted it in fast and everything else. Um, but wow, wow! My last ones in here were Mercs. What's this one? This looks like a rosy. You know, I got, um, yeah, rosy, 1953. I get excited because when I dig a plug, most of us who do metal detecting, sometimes you'll see, um, something will come out of the ground. You'll see those flat, flat pieces of dirt. And you know the coil, the indentation, the, the I mean the coin. You know that there's been a coin in there or something flat. And you kind of get excited, you know, like where is that, where is what made that flat indentation in the dirt. But I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got my sturdy, my dirty golf umbrella, but it's pouring rain again. Sucks, just sucks. 
know if you can see that. It's just pouring. Here's the tree. I just found the rosy on the other side of, and the two mercs right there, and found another quarter over here that I did a live dig on, but I thought it was going to be a half dollar. I was like, whatever. I walk over here, got a high tone, and it was repeatable. And I've already walked this whole area off once. I just don't get it, but I'll take it. And uh, got another rosy. Unbelievable. Just love it. 1956, uh, maybe? Let's see. What's that? 66? 56? Come on, focus in there. Focus in. Yep. Wow. Sweet. I don't know how many more I missed. Well, I've had one of these weird signals before. Um, for me, it comes up really high signal, like a 1250, 1350, um, really high. And this one's probably about six inches down. It's not a coin, um, but I kind of rubbed it to see what it was, because if it was a giant pop can under this brute here, I'd probably leave it. But it's actually more of a novelty item that I'm going to get out. Um, I saw the word Mary on it. So I have a feeling it's the old Mary Widow's uh, case, and um, I don't want to ruin it too much, but it's down in there. Let me dig this out and get it out. But oh, here it is. Um, I noticed that when I uh, put the coil, like uh, no, the probe on it, it comes up a perfect 1247. But I don't know for some reason in the ground, these guys are they come up really high, like 1250 or higher. So hey, I got myself a Merry Widow's case. Clean that up and try to get you another picture of that. So I'm still hoping I missed this the last time I was here. Maybe I thought it was a pop can or something. Well, there you go. Neat little case, three Merry Widows. And um, I don't know the full history of the Merry Widows, although I do know that this is a little metal case that used to have three condoms in them. And I have no idea if those were reusable condoms or not. <laughs> or you just kept the container and you refilled the container. I don't know. But uh, the history's out there if you want to read about it. Uh, I just haven't had the inkling to do that yet. Uh, this is about the third one of these I think I found.